Hi guys, today I'm going to do a short tutorial on how to do the Jurassic Mom Tumbler, the Peekaboo. So first off I'm going to start with mixing a really small amount of epoxy. And the epoxy that I'm using today is uh, artworks from the Craft Attack. Um, I have equal parts. I did uh, 10 ml of each in just one cup. So I'm going to mix that. That's even too much. I really probably only need about 5 ml total to cover the cup because you just want to do a thin layer just enough to have your glitter adhere. So you don't want a really thick layer. layer. You don't want your glitter moving around. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this up and then we will come back and apply it and apply our glitter. Okay, so I've stirred my epoxy for probably about mm, two and a half, three minutes. And now I'm going to just apply a really thin coat to my cup. So I'm going to take it and just pour a little bit on. And then I'm going to take my silicone brush and I'm going to just start spreading it. Just going to spread it and spread it till I can't spread it anymore. You just want it super thin. You don't want it dripping off. You don't want your glitter moving when you put it on. It takes a few minutes because you really want to spread it as much as you can, literally till you can't spread it anymore. Okay, so with just that little amount that I put on there, I've already coated half the cup. And I still have a ton of epoxy left, so I'm going to have to throw that into a silicone mold or something. Spread, spread, spread. Okay, so I only have about that much left, so I'm just going to pour a tiny bit. This should be enough to cover the rest, and probably the bottom too. These silicone brushes are awesome. Um, I get mine from the Craft Attack, and they work really, really great. I used to just use a, a gloved hand to spread, but these actually spread, I think, better. Okay, so I've almost got the whole cup covered. I still have to get the bottom. Okay, so now I'm going to let it spin just to make sure I got that whole, the whole thing covered. I'm going to dip my silicone brush and a little bit of epoxy for the bottom. And that's plenty for that. Okay, I think I've got the whole thing covered. I don't think I missed any spots. Maybe a little at the top there. Okay, then I just usually take a baby wipe and just quickly wipe off my silicone and then it's ready to use next time. Okay, 
So now we're going to apply the glitter. pieces of paper under here to catch my glitter, so hopefully I remember to put it back in the bottle. I sometimes forget. Okay, so these are the three colors I'm going to use today. They're super pretty. I'm using kind of a gold and a blue kind of shifty color with some, almost looks like some whitish gold in there, <clears throat> and then kind of a pinkish gold. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, that one I haven't even used yet. I am just going to spread my glitter <clears throat> just sporadically in different places. Oh, that's pretty. That is such a gorgeous color. This is um, Chunky Dunk from Feather Bear. It's absolutely stunning. So just add a little bit in some places. Okay, that's probably enough of that color. Then I'm going to go in next. Help it fall off a little bit. And then later when I'm all done applying my glitter, then you can go back and take a popsicle stick or a gloved finger and kind of tap down any pieces that are sticking up. Oh, this color is so pretty. Now see, I see a spot where I may have forgotten. Didn't get it quite covered. And of course, I forgot my paper again. I do it almost every time. Only when I'm doing videos. I don't think about it. Oh well, this will be a good dump color. Now I'm going to throw a little bit of gold in there, just because both colors kind of have a little bit of a gold in there anyways. I like to really add a bunch of colors instead of just having... Oh, that's really pretty. Well, that dream jar is really pretty, but I think I want a little bit more of the dream jar up here. There we go. Oopsie, that was a lot. blue. So try not to put too much of one color in any given area. I could, however, take the spill off and mix it together and make that kind of a new color. Let's try that. Take a pot. I just poured all the dump glitter into a little thing, and I'm going to just stir it up with a popsicle stick, and then I'm going to add it to the areas that are still open. And it's kind of a mixture of all the colors, so that might. Oh, that's really pretty. 
a good way not to waste glitter, which we all hate doing. Oh, that's so pretty. That just totally gave it a whole nother look. I cannot wait to get epoxy over this. Okay, so I'm going to have to take that and take that rest of that and go back in. Stir it up a little bit. There's not a whole lot left, but... Okay, now I'm going to go back in and just fill in the areas just with some regular glitter because I'm kind of out. So fill in some edges. Okay, so I think I'm going to add a little bit more of the pink to some of the areas here. Okay, I can still see the white through there, so I'm going to add a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit more of the pink in here. I'm going to try and put some on the bottom. Let's see how this is going to work. Okay, so I'm just going to tilt this up a little. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to tilt it up. Whoops, that went a little crazy. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna lift it up one more time. Whoops, I'm gonna have to go this way. Okay, and then I'm gonna take with my fingers and just sprinkle a couple little areas that didn't get any. All right. So that's enough, and then I'm, now I'm just going to go through, and I'll just keep all this as my dump glitter and use it for another cup. It's all really pretty together. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a popsicle stick, and I'm just going to tap down some of these ones that are sticking up. Actually, you know what? There's quite a bit sticking up. So what I think I'm going to do is use a little parchment paper and flatten them out. So I'll be right back. Okay, somewhere I saw this on a video, and it actually works really well. Is get some parchment paper, and you just press down. I really don't even need it to turn anymore. 
to press everything down. And you can feel through the parchment paper if it's flat or if it's sticking up. And it really is a neat way, an easy way to get those, uh, the ones that are sticking up to get them to lay flat. And you still might have just a couple, but that really is laying pretty flat. So I'm going to let this spin for about probably three and a half to four hours and then I'll come in and I will do my flood coat. Okay, so I've let my cup spin for probably about five or six hours just because I got busy. Usually I wait maybe four hours and then I do my flood coat. So now I'm going to apply my epoxy. My epoxy. I've already mixed it. Now this I do with, when I'm dealing with chunky glitter. I like to use my gloved finger to put it on so that I can make sure I can feel any spots that I miss. And then you want to cover it really, really well because after this cures, then we'll be sticking on our decals to use like, uh, for, what do you call them, like stencils. So you want to make sure that this is fully covered and smooth before the stencils go on. Hopefully I mixed enough. This is a 20, a true 22 ounce from uh, Magnolia Steel, or the Steel Magnolia. So I mixed a total of 40 ml for this one. And I'm hoping I mixed enough because I like to do it a little thicker because our stencils will go on. But I think I should have enough. And when I mix my epoxy, because I use artworks, it sets up a little faster than some of the other epoxies, so I don't really wait. I don't let my epoxy sit. I just mix and apply. Make sure you get the edges. Okay, and this is how I put, I just put a little bit on my finger to get the bottom. It takes so much more with chunky. Make sure you bring it down. See a couple pieces sticking up there. Okay, so now we did the bottom. So now I'm going to go and use the rest of my epoxy and just go over the cup one more time. pretty good. Got a pretty good layer on there. I'm going to do just a little bit more on the bottom. Oops. Okay. And I think that's it. And then I'm going to let this spin for probably about 10 to 12 hours and then I'll go ahead and put my stencils on and we'll go from there. Okay, so I let my cup dry overnight. I got busy and so I just let it turn all night so it was nice and um, nice and cured for the next day. Um, I, I did sand it. I had a lot of uh, things that were sticking up, a lot of pieces of glitter and I like to sand my rims. Now I don't sand it totally smooth because I don't really care on this kind of cup. I'm going to lay my decals mostly over the areas that have bumps in them so you won't see them when you paint. And then once you paint and you start removing some of your paint, then you can remove it in those areas as well. So I'm going to start putting my decals on. I, I already went and cut them. Now I'm not going to lie, 
cutting this little guy and trying to get the teeth are ridiculous. They're so tiny, I still haven't gotten all the teeth on, but I don't care. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply all my decals so that once they're all applied, then I can spray paint over them and then pull the decals. And then that way the glitter will show through where your decals were. And hopefully this goes well. I'm not using a very good transfer tape today. I'm almost out of my other stuff. So, you can't really even see what I'm doing, can you? Okay. So I have my decal, and I'm just, um, I was just scraping it to me and turning it upside down because this decal paper isn't super sticky. So I want to make sure that everything sticks to it. And then what you do is you peel off the backing. And of course, it's it's already not sticking. My glasses. Let me turn this down a little bit. Let's see what I'm doing here. Okay. So what I do is, is I kind of fold it back, and I push down and kind of roll it off so it grabs, so so that the the what do you call it? The transfer paper grabs the entire decal. I just slowly roll it back. I don't lift up on it. If you lift up, sometimes you'll pull some of that decal back onto the paper. So, so far so good. Now these little teeth, it might be an issue. And I just roll it and roll it until the whole thing is off. Okay, perfect. Nothing stayed on there. So... There, my entire decal is on the decal transfer sheet, and then I'm just going to pick a spot. And this is the cup, by the way, after um, I have the, the zoom in. Um, I'm going to pick a spot and I'm going to lay it down. And I want to pick a spot that has like a lot of the colors, so I think that this one will be good. Okay, so I'm just going to lay this at the top. Make sure the word motherhood is straight. Oops, shoot. Uh oh. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta redo that one real quick. Okay, so I got my R put back on there. I lost a letter. Okay, so I'm going to lay this down. I always hold it up at the top and then just kind of slide down trying to keep it straight. And then because this is a rounded decal, I start in the middle. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I start in the middle and I just really work my way to the outer edges. And then... I do the same thing going this way so that you don't get any bubbles in the circle lays. Uh oh, what is that? Okay. It's hard to tell if it's straight with these lines. So I push it down and then I'm just going to remove. transfer paper really slow so that I don't pull anything off that I just did. And I have a funky line. I'm not sure what happened there. So this... I don't know what happened there. I'm going to have to straighten this out a little bit. I love these tweezers. Okay, there, fix that. Okay. So hard to get these things on straight.
Okay. And then I'm just going to start taking the rest of my decals um, and just start placing them randomly around. So, so here's some claw marks. Now these are a little bigger, so I'm not worried about losing them when I pull my tape up. So I think I want to put that right at the bottom. Kind of cool, like off to the side maybe. Okay, so now you can see I've gotten a couple decals on there. Um, trying to back up so you can see a little bit. So what I'm going to do is finish putting my decals on and then we will go paint. Okay guys, I got all my decals on. Turn it back a little bit. Got the feet and the scratch marks. Let's turn it this way. There we go. A little scratch mark on the bottom. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go paint this. I'm going to use a blue for the bottom color and then white on top so that when you remove your paint you kind of have a little bit of a shadow of the darker color under the white. So I'm going to go spray paint and we'll start removing our decals. Okay so I spray painted my cup white. I decided not to do the darker color. I'm just going to do white. I don't feel like dealing with the mess. Um, and you just, you can see all the decals underneath. You can see where I spray painted. And you just start pulling the decals off one by one. I usually spray paint and let it sit for a few minutes and I pull it off while it's still tacky. Um, it doesn't pull the paint up with it. Now on these, sometimes I get a little crazy with my, it's okay to, if you screw up a little bit and scratch the paint or something, um, because you're going to rub a lot of this paint off so you can expose more of the glitter. So let's see. This is the tedious part. Pull it off. And I use 651 Oracle. Um, it to me seems to be the easiest to come off. I don't have to play around with it too much. Just pull all these off. This color underneath is just going to be amazing when this is done. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull off these decals and then we'll be back. Okay, so I've removed all the decals. And that glitter is so pretty. It's probably hard to see but all the different colors. So what I'm going to do now is let it dry for a little while longer, probably about 30 minutes, and then I'll come in and I will start uh, wiping off the paint in certain areas and kind of make it like a geode. Okay, so I let the paint dry a little bit. It's barely tacky. So now I'm going to start taking a little acetone and a rag and start wiping off the paint in areas I want exposed, which I'm planning on taking a lot of the paint off because I want a lot of the glitter to show.
and see where I've taken it off. And it's it's kind of dull right now, right here, because some of the paint's over it. But when I'm done, I'll go over it with alcohol, and it will shine it right back up. see taking a little bit off the bottom And you just keep rubbing and taking off as much or as little as you want. Just kind of personal preference. I just like a lot of the glitter to show. So I like to bring it kind of close to the decal, where the decal was. Cool. Now I'll work on the back, the back side. I kind of like to do it real soft and kind of get the edges so it looks like it's it's brushed. Okay, so I'm almost done. I think I've almost got enough showing. I just need to kind of make these not such lines. Maybe make it thicker at the top and maybe not. Yeah, there we go.
Okay, I think that's as much as I'm going to take off. So now I'm going to get the the alcohol. If you can see this, there we go. So that's how much I took off. I think I'm going to connect these two right here, though. I don't like the way that looks. So I'm going to go get the alcohol, and then I will uh, clean up this, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I cleaned up my glitter areas a little bit with alcohol. It kind of brings some of the shine back. But as soon as you epoxy it, it's going to get super, super sparkly again. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let it sit for a while. It's still kind of tacky. Uh, let that coat dry, and then I'm going to spray a clear sealer on it, and then I'll come back and we will put it first coat of epoxy on. Okay, so I've let my cup sit for a few hours, and it's not even tacky anymore. It's nice and dry, the paint. So I'm going to go ahead and put my final coat of epoxy on, and I put a little bit of shimmer in the epoxy. Um, I don't know if you can see that, so that the white doesn't just look solid. So I like to add a little bit of, just a tiny bit of glitter. Now I put it on a little bit thicker than normal because I still have these chunky edges that are a little bit, you can feel the bumps. So hopefully that will cover them. go back over and make sure I've covered the whole thing, but I think I've got enough epoxy on it at this point. Make sure the edges are covered. I go around the rim and make sure that I get the very edge. And then I'll hit it with a little bit of heat just to pop any little micro bubbles. And that should be it. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit for, or spin for probably, probably about 10 hours. I just leave mine on for quite some time, and then I'll check it for any bumps, and if I have to sand it, then I'll just sand to do one more coat, and that will be it. But this one probably will be good enough. So I um, will post a finished picture at the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, the links will be in the comments for uh, any supplies that I used. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.